What are some of the ways that people could go about getting help if maybe they don't have someone in their workplace or their familial unit or something like that? I love that because people, for some reason, think that in order to get help, you've got to be rich. And that is just not the case. Um, In Los Angeles, where you and I are from, you can get therapy from nothing, zero dollars per session to $400 per session and everything in between. So if you have insurance or Medi-Cal, you can activate that. Um, If you, you know, there are many community mental health centers that will offer sliding scale or just like a symbolic type of um, pay system where you pay $5 per session or $20 per session. And then there are all these great resources that are available online that are not therapy. I want to clarify, not therapy, but really important um, supportive resources that, you know, there's. Uh, free um, webinars and ebooks and um, journals, you know, self help journals and things like that. There's just so much out there because today there is more awareness about this. And today, especially being in the midst of a pandemic, yeah. we really need to provide people with all of that support and all those resources. So there's just a ton out there. It's just a matter of being willing to look and being willing to accept the help. So what about for some of the people who um, maybe don't have the mom or um, maybe not necessarily a mom, uh, a legal guardian that, that can help them with that. I know that you have some social media coping groups, um, your YouTube channel. I know that there's things where people can search on the internet. They can find things. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that they're maybe comfortable with talking about yet. Maybe they're still doing some sort of internal work, thinking to themselves, you know what, something's not clicking here or something used to click and now it's not clicking. And I don't like, again, I don't, I don't have anyone to go to. Um, what, where do you tend to go to um, or send some of your clients to that could do something on their own that wouldn't need a parental or legal guardian? Yes. So at the start of the pandemic, I started a coping with COVID Facebook group where I posted so many free resources, interesting articles, coping tools. Um, I then turned it into an ebook that's available on my website. Really, really quick. What's the name of your Facebook social media group? It's called Coping with COVID. Coping with COVID. Tools for Emotional Wellness. Okay. something to that. I don't remember the whole title coping with COVID. And then we took that and we created an ebook for coping with the psychological effects of this pandemic. And that's available on my website at drsharonarbell.com. Perfect. And there's so many things like that available on the web. So I think it's really about just kind of starting to look and read and practice my absolute favorite um, app. It's called Calm, C-A-L-M, Calm. And it's available for download on any device. And it's got all these mindfulness tools, meditations, visualization exercises, all of these activities and interventions that we know that have been researched, that we know help with anxiety, depression, sleep difficulty, um, you know, loneliness, and all of those things that people might be experiencing right now. So those mindfulness apps, that's another place where I send people on a regular basis. 